welcome to the channel. So you may have stumbled upon this video because you're exploring whether or not Lakeway is the right place for you. I've actually lived in Lakeway for over the past 10 years. My name is Aubrey Von Baron. I'm a licensed real estate broker here in the greater Austin area. And although I have chosen Lakeway as my home for the past 10 years and obviously see very good things about it, there are definitely things that I wish I would have known prior to making a move. And those are the items that I want to share with you today so that you can ultimately determine if Lakeway is the right spot for you or not. Stay tuned. The first thing we should really talk about when it comes to Lakeway is the distance to downtown Austin, because I find that even though people live in Lakeway, you still want to explore Austin and be fairly close to some of those, the nice offerings that Austin itself has to offer. Certainly the restaurants, shops, and things of that nature downtown. It's also important to note that we're about 45 minutes from our major airport, which is located in Southeast Austin. So Lakeway is situated off of 620, and it's about a 30 minute to 35 minute drive to downtown Austin. Again, depending on exactly where you are in Lakeway. And of course, depending on the time of day that you'll be commuting. Now, the reason this fluctuates so much is of course due to traffic patterns, but also it's important to note that 620 is the main thoroughfare in and out of Lakeway. And 620 is not a highway. It's actually several miles of stop and go light intersections, a lot of commercial development off of 620. So although that's it's very convenient to access those shops, restaurants, and grocery stores if you are living in Lakeway. It also presents a little bit of a hurdle because it can cause a lot of congestion on 620 for all of the people who are trying to access those businesses. And that can certainly add to your travel time if you're commuting to Austin or you like to go into Austin on a daily basis. Again, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about what life is like in Austin. I've been a local for over 13 years now and want to share all the ins and outs of what I've experienced over those 13 years. If you're not new here, then of course, welcome back. Be sure to hit that like button because it helps people just like you find this information a little more easily. And if you're jazzed about the videos that I'm putting out for you each week, please hit that subscribe button and little notification bell so that you're alerted of each of the new videos that I'll continue putting together together for you each week. My name is Aubrey Von Baron. I'm a licensed real estate broker here in the greater Austin area, and I've helped so many people relocate to the area every year. I would love to answer any of your questions about a potential move to Austin. So call, text, email, schedule an appointment with me in the link below, and let's connect. This is one that I see a lot of, especially for people who are considering relocation from another state or even another big city in Texas. It's really hard to understand the actual feel of an area in greater Austin because you can drive two miles up the road and the community and feel of that spot is going to be completely different than what you're getting elsewhere. So it's important to really understand the vibe, so to speak, of the Lakeway area and how that differs from maybe being in central Austin or a little bit closer to the urban core. Now, with that being said, Lakeway itself is definitely more of a suburban feel. You have beautiful hill country topography. We're actually in the Texas hill country. So you'll see a ton of pretty oak canopies, rolling hills. We have Lake Travis itself, which is a huge man-made lake, tons of boats, jet skis on there, people always enjoying the water. And it's essentially in your backyard in Lakeway. So with that more suburban environment being removed from the city center and that urban density, we get a lot of these extra perks such as parks and outdoor activities that residents can tap into. That's super, super nice. What that also means though, that suburban environment is that we virtually have no nightlife in Lakeway. Of course we have restaurants. Those typically close around 10 PM on Fridays or Saturdays. There are a couple of them that will stay open a little bit later, but not by much. And then on weeknights, you can expect most restaurants and things to close by nine or 9:30 PM give or take minus a few fast food stops. So if you're single or you really enjoy more of a nightlife atmosphere and being able to tap into some of those activities a little more easily without having to make a 30 minute drive to and from, then you may want to consider those things if you are really looking at Lakeway because Lakeway again, just doesn't have that type of scene. It's really all located in Austin. <music> Living is 
definitely something that's very important to consider no matter where you're looking. In Lakeway, as of recently, the median home price is $950,000, and that's certainly gone up in recent years, especially with so much of the growth out west and people realizing how beautiful it is and how much you can actually get for your money in this area. So again, the median home price is roughly $950,000. And I've noticed lately too, the day-to-day -day activities that I participate in, grocery stores, going to restaurants, not only due to inflation, of course, but the cost of living in general with those daily necessities has risen. And I think that has a lot to do with where Lakeway is located. So there is not much affordable housing in Lakeway. And so when you're talking about these small businesses, businesses who are opening up restaurants or other types of shops, it's very hard for them to find service workers to staff a lot of those businesses. And because of that, I've noticed that the cost of goods has gone up again, not only because of inflation, because I think they're having to offer these employees more money to get them from Austin to Lakeway. Let's talk about weather. So I'm happy to report that we get over 230 days of sunshine per year, which means that you can definitely enjoy Lake Travis itself and a lot of the really nice boat, kayaking, city park days that you're able to capitalize on with that really nice weather. Now, our hottest months are typically June until about mid-September. You can expect to be in the upper 90s. Occasionally, we break triple digits. Those are unfortunate days, but they're not very common these days, which is nice. The two things though that I do want to bring up that are not as apparent would be the fact that we have droughts. We're currently in a drought right now. And then the last couple of years, we've had very unusual ice storms is what we've called it. And the reason this is important, I'll start with drought. So the Lake Travis itself is a man-made lake. And that means that the lake height, the water height within the lake will fluctuate. So for example, right now we've been in a drought for the last couple of years and the lake is at 44% capacity. It's still very usable. You'll see boats on it all day long. A lot of the boat ramps are still in service. So it's because it's a very deep lake that has minimal impact overall. But where that's really important is if you need to water your lawn or your plants, it's just important to note that you'll have watering restrictions related to that. I believe now in Lakeway, we're down to about one day a week that we're allowed to water. So it's really difficult if you wanna wash your car, power wash your driveway or keep your plants alive too we only get one day to do that depending on the drought and watering restrictions. Let me talk about these ice storms a little bit more. So for the past two years, it has been very unusual. We don't typically get snow in Texas. And if we do, it just doesn't stick to the ground for very long. The last couple of years though, we've had very unusual weather. In this past February, we actually had what was truly an ice storm. That's typically what we get is ice. The roads ice over, we don't really have snow. And because that isn't typical, the cities don't have the infrastructure to plow the roads or deal with that. So a lot of times the city will just shut down because again, we just don't have the infrastructure to fix it. The reason the most recent ice storm was a big problem though, is because in Lakeway, again, you're in the hill country, you have huge oak trees everywhere. You also have above ground power lines in a lot of these commercial areas along 620. So what ended up happening, because a lot of the tree limbs had not been cleared around these power lines, when the ice fell onto the tree limbs, weighed them down, they ended up breaking and then ruining a lot of these power lines. So the grid system was just completely offline for so long due to breaks in these power lines, purely because of ice accumulating on the trees. The trees weren't strong enough to hold the ice and ultimately just broke the cable lines. So it was, it was a really bad time in this past February. A lot of people were without power, some for up to a week. But again, a very unusual circumstance. It's just important to note that that could happen and it's happened the last couple of years. Now I mentioned before that Lakeway has beautiful topography that includes creeks, oak trees, lakes, a ton of vegetation. And with that comes a lot of wildlife and a lot of little bugs and critters. So for many of my clients who have relocated from California, they're very shocked at the amount of bugs that are in the Lakeway area. And I think it's important to note that 
Pest control is pretty much a must. Again, we just have so much vegetation that's really nice, but because it's lush with a lot of water in the creeks and the lakes, depending on exactly where you live, you definitely need pest control around your house. Again, because of this vegetation, you also have a ton of wildlife. So white-tailed deer are incredibly common in all of the Lakeway area. You'll see them just hanging out on people's front yards. You're not supposed to feed them. I know some people do, and you can usually tell the yards that feed the deer. They're very cute though. It's just a really Really important to note that because Lakeway is pretty dark at night, you can have deer darting out in the roads. So you just want to be careful not to speed. A deer may run into your car. You may hit and injure them. That's never a good day. So I think it's just really important to note that you can expect a lot of that as well. Now, one more thing to point out is that we also have not only white-tailed deer, but coyotes, porcupines, armadillos, skunks, all sorts of things. So if you have pets, especially cats that are indoor, outdoor, make sure they can't get out of your yard because the certain prey animals like coyotes are very active in the Lakeway area and they've been known to certainly get cats, but also even small dogs on a leash. So you have to be very well aware of that and your surroundings. Just make sure your pets are always with you if at all possible. Now, shopping and restaurants exist in Lakeway, but they're very limited. We have the Hill Country Galleria, which is very close to Lakeway. It's technically located in Bee Cave. You'll find Whole Foods there, Barnes & Noble, some big anchor stores. A lot of them are very local businesses though, so they may not be the big box stores that you're typically used to seeing in this particular outdoor shopping area. If you really like going out to eat and like having things nearby, we definitely have a lot of restaurants in the Lakeway area, but because the amount of restaurants is fairly limited, sometimes you go to the same one over and over for so long and it gets a little bit stale. It's sort of funny in Lakeway now, we've noticed that whenever there's a new restaurant that opens, it's packed the first week or several days. And if it stays that busy the next couple of weeks, it typically means that it's going to survive because we've noticed a few that have opened up. It'll be crowded the first week and then the parking lot is dead moving forward. So everybody who lives in Lakeway seems to be jonesing for new restaurants in the area and they will come and they have come, but it's important to note that we don't have as much variety as you would find maybe in central Austin where that seems to be the main restaurant hub, at least for the really nice restaurants. So Lakeway itself is not a major employment hub. The major employers here are Baylor Scott and White Hospital, which is a really nice, newer, convenient hospital located off of 620. The other major employers are Lake Travis Independent School District, and of course, HEB. We have a couple of HEB locations in the Lakeway and Bee Cave vicinity. So if you don't work for one of these companies or work in one of these locations, specifically in Lakeway, you will likely find yourself commuting. If you work for one of the major tech companies. Those are typically located in North Austin, a couple of which are downtown Austin, but again, located primarily in Austin. And we're about 30 to 45 minutes from those major employers, depending on where exactly you are in Lakeway. Now, one of the huge draws to the Lakeway area is Lake Travis itself. It's one of our largest man-made lakes and it's basically in Lakeway's backyard. So for everybody looking to boat, jet ski, fish, kayak, really whatever you like to do on the water, you can do on Lake Travis. It's very important to note though, so you're not disappointed that Lake Travis itself is a man-made lake and it's not a constant level lake like some of the others that you'll find in Texas. And the reason that's so important is because if you are looking for waterfront property or a marina to house your boat, you need to pay attention to the lake level history, where exactly they're located and how deep the water is in those particular locations, because that can make or break the location where you're purchasing or where you may be storing your boat at a particular marina. Guys, just as a reminder, my name is Aubrey Von Baron. I'm a licensed real estate broker here in Austin. And as much as I love making these videos for you each week, I would love even more to help with your home search here in the Austin area. So be sure to call, text, email, or schedule an appointment with me in the link below. And I would love to answer all of your questions about a potential move within Austin.